Have you ever received a message about your data not being registered with your ArcGIS Enterprise server? What's the difference between referencing registered data or copying all of your data when publishing from ArcGIS Pro? My name is Mara and I work on the Enterprise Support Team at Esri Canada. Today, we are going to review referenced versus hosted data in ArcGIS Enterprise. If you haven't seen it, check out Data in ArcGIS User Managed and ArcGIS Managed Explained. This is a great resource to understand user managed data versus ArcGIS managed data. Data storage and management play a crucial role in your ArcGIS Enterprise setup. It influences how your organization accesses, handles, contributes to, and modifies data. ArcGIS Enterprise provides the option to store source data for your web services and layers either in user-managed storage locations or in storage managed by ArcGIS itself. Reference data is linked to a data store that has been registered with your ArcGIS server. In this scenario, data owners and administrators are responsible for supplying and managing the underlying storage infrastructure, which may include enterprise databases, folders, or cloud storage registered with your ArcGIS server. Examples of reference data include feature layers, map image layers, or imagery layers. In Portal, they will look like this. Hosted layers are ArcGIS managed. They are managed by the ArcGIS system, supported by ArcGIS Data Store. Hosted and copied data is accessible only through REST-based web services which are displayed to end users as layer items in their portal. In this model, users and administrators do not have direct access to the underlying files or databases. As a result, this approach is considered ArcGIS managed since the data source is not directly accessible for management by administrators. When data is hosted within your ArcGIS Enterprise deployment, it will appear in the hosted folder of ArcGIS Server Manager and will be marked with a hosted label in ArcGIS Portal. Hosted layer types include feature layers, feature layer views, WFS layers, tile layers, scene layers, as well as imagery layers. Let's review reference data in depth. Reference data, whether in file-based formats or enterprise databases, is made accessible to web and browser-based applications through web services in ArcGIS Enterprise. When data is published to ArcGIS Enterprise, the publisher can keep the data in its original location and reference it through the web service. With this approach, the web service managed by ArcGIS Server, such as a map service or feature service, connects directly to the original data source without creating a copy. If the service referencing the data is deleted, the data itself remains intact in the source database until it is explicitly deleted from there. Reference data is commonly housed in enterprise geodatabases, but it can also come from enterprise data management systems, such as Oracle Spatial Warehouses. Other forms of data store item types include folders, cloud storage, and big data file shares. So, when should you use reference services? This depends on your use case and environment. First, let's consider update frequency. You should consider reference services if multiple clients are accessing and updating the source data, so changes in the web layer are present as they are made at the source. If you want to leverage enterprise database functionality, such as versioning and archiving, you should consider using reference services. For example, utility network services. If you publish from a map containing version data, you must publish it as a reference layer to ensure the data is updated. Next, let's consider service size. If you have a large feature class or feature classes with complex geometry, referencing the data will be faster because the data does not have to be copied. Machine resources. You can create raster tile, vector tile, or scene caches within a folder that allow you to publish layers to reference a cache. Finally, it is important to consider layer type. Several layers, such as utility networks, geoprocessing scripts, and streaming data must be published referencing a registered data store. Let's take a look at publishing a reference service from ArcGIS Pro. If you want your web layers to reference your source data, you must register your data source with the ArcGIS server site where you want the service to run. 
This ensures that the service can access the source data. If we look at the source of the data within the contents pane, we can see that it's coming from an enterprise database feature class that has versioning enabled. To check this, right-click the connection in Pro Geodatabase Connection Properties. This has branch versioning enabled. All version data must be published from the default version. So I'm going to verify that the default version of this data is selected. To publish this test layer referencing a registered enterprise database, right-click it within the contents Sharing, Share as Web Layer. We want this layer to be editable in Portal, so I am going to select Feature. I would like the Portal users to be able to create, change to, and work with named versions for the published layer. As such, I'm going to enable version management. Now we can analyze the layer. We receive the error 00231 layers data source must be registered with the server. This means that our default version is not registered as a data store. We can register it within ArcGIS Server Manager or quickly here within ArcGIS Pro. Click the error, register data source with server. The add data store pane is populated with the information for this version of my database. Select validate and create. Analyze again, no errors, so we can publish. Now that the layer is published, any changes we make to the data in ArcGIS portal will be present within the source database. Let's move on to reviewing hosted services in depth. Copying your data is similar to taking a snapshot of the source data at the time of publishing. Unlike items created from registered data, items created from copy data do not receive dynamic updates as the source data changes. If you don't need your web layer to access the source data, copying the data during publishing is a suitable approach. What does it mean if your data is copied? This means the data you are publishing is copied to a local folder on the ArcGIS server, or the data is copied to a managed database, ArcGIS Data Store. Data managed by ArcGIS refers to the hosted data in your ArcGIS Enterprise Portal. Services built from this hosted data are stored on the portal's hosting server, with the data itself being stored in ArcGIS Data Store or directly on the hosting server. Many common workflows in ArcGIS Enterprise rely on the ability to create hosted layers. Hosted layers are not only generated by uploading a data set and explicitly choosing to publish it as a new layer, but they can also be the result from actions such as running analysis tools or part of distributed collaboration workflows where feature layers are copied. So when should you use hosted data? If you're uploading a file to Portal and want to publish the file from there. If you and other users will only interact with the data through a web layer. If you're using an app or feature that requires hosted layers. Let's take a look at publishing hosted data from ArcGIS Pro. To publish hosted layers, you must have appropriate privileges to create content, as well as a hosting server federated with your ArcGIS portal. We are going to publish the same layer as a hosted layer. Right click, sharing, share as web layer. As we are sharing this as a copy, any edits made in the portal will not be reflected in the original data source. In my case, I would still like the service in Portal to be editable by Portal users, so I will again select Feature. Select Analyze. And Publish.
it looks like the web layer failed to publish. The first place I want to check is that the hosting server is validating as expected within ArcGIS portal, organization, settings, and servers. In our case, we receive an error that can help us address the issue. It looks like Portal cannot reach our ArcGIS server. In our case, it looks like the ArcGIS server service is not running. Once we get it up and running again, we can see that validation is successful in ArcGIS Portal, and we can publish a hosted service as expected to Portal. In summary, when publishing data from ArcGIS Pro, you decide where the data for your web layers will be stored. For most data sources, you can either register the data source, allowing the web layers to access the data directly from there, or you can have ArcGIS copy the data to a location it manages, such as ArcGIS Data Store, a federated server, or the hosting server. Please make sure to check out the Esri documentation used to make this video listed in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and feel free to leave any comments and or suggestions below. Lastly, if you would like to see more Esri Canada demos, subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below.